Doug Guller is a businessman and overall sleazebag. He boasts about how his new restaurant, Bikinis, is not like any of those other restaurants like Hooters, the Tilted Kilts, or Twin Peaks. Actually, in middle school, my school was called Twin Peaks, and at PE, we had a shirt that said Twin Peaks on our breasts. Sad, though, because we were in sixth grade, so we didn't have boobs yet. No, 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 no. Doug Guller is proud to be a restaurant. Yes, restaurant, and even trademark that term. I. Ugh, I need to shower. This is disgusting. One of Bikini's employees is Jessica. Jessica ended up at Bikini's after the company she previously worked for as an account executive went bankrupt. Needing to pay her bills like all of us girls do, Jessica started working for Bikini's as a bartender. In a conversation, Jessica admitted to her undercover boss that she has, God forbid, higher aspirations than tending bar. Guller gets butthurt over the fact that Jessica looks at bartending as just a job and not a career. <laughs> Douche. So what does he do? He fires her, stating, and I quote, It's a coveted position. So, no bikini top, drunk eye at the bar, and the overall lack of passion. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, <laughs> that's Gloria Alred breaking out her strap on. Tear you a new one, Dougie. Grace is another one of Bikini's workers who has drive and marketing ideas for the company that could further its reach. Oh, so what does Doug do? Does he <clears throat> A, give her an entry level marketing position, B, use her marketing ideas to further the brand, or C, buy her bigger tits? If you understand sarcasm and Doug's moronic way of thinking, then yay, you picked C. Not only for the answer, but probably for a guesstimation of Grace's ideal breast size. So, I officially nominate Doug Geller as January's Douche of the Month. What about you guys? Do you Boredom Breakers know any nominees for Douche of the Month? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I'm Lauren, and I'll see you next time.